have a 714 score in both, but I have an old hospital bill. Okay, you can dispute that, right? Hit the link in my bio, get the how-to guides. They're free. I got a step-by-step -step for collections in there. Get to work. I paid someone to repair my credit and she froze my credit. How can I unfreeze it? You go to the Experian, unfreeze it. TransUnion, un unfreeze it. Equifax, go unfreeze it. Simple. How long to wait be between applying for credit cards? So if you got a credit card and they pulled Experian, go find you 10 lenders that pull from TransUnion, 10 lenders that pull from Equifax. Right. Get your TransUnion one and the Equifax one. That's going to be one inquiry all the way across. Right. You got three accounts with one inquiry across. Okay? Is closing credit card affect your credit score? Hell yeah. Look at you guys. What you're doing when you close a, a credit card with age on it. Let's say the credit card had five years of age. When you close it, that age is gone. So that's why your score drops and you have one less open account too. I have a bankruptcy that's supposed to drop off after 10 years. Is there anything I have to do? No, but Sean, if that bankruptcy is dismissed or discharged, you can go ahead and dispute it right now, my brother. Get the link in my bio, get that King Credit Bundle. They got the step-by-step -step bankruptcy guide, the same step that my company uses to dispute bankruptcies, right? Go run it up. What do I go to start my business? Contrail, just to register and everything, go to um, busy, B-I-Z-E-E.com. That used to be Inkfile. You can type in inkfile.com and, and Google and it'll redirect you to them. That's the, that's where I start all, start all my uh, companies. It's real smooth and easy. How long does closed accounts stay on your report? Shit, seven to 10 years, maybe longer. I have something on my credit report for five years, amount 37, which I never use. Yeah, so if it's really not your account, go to ftc.gov, file out an identity theft um, report and, and get to work. Let's go. I'm 18, 759. So look at you guys, the score, you guys keep saying your scores, your scores, your scores. That's cool. That's all cool, but it's, it's about your credit profile. So if you got a 700, 750, whatever it is, but you have less than five primary accounts, your, your credit profile is still what they call like, it's like thin. Pretty much means that you don't have enough experience dealing with credit yet, right? So when you get a job, you go apply for a job, what they want, your resume to see what who you work with in the last two years. What's going on? Same with your credit, okay? Same thing with your credit. Lenders want to see who you work with, who you've been, who you've been rocking with the last two years. Let me see, right? They want to see that stuff. So they want to see that you work, that you have multiple accounts, all right? You don't have to have a thousand of them, just four or five is cool to, in the beginning. Then you can grow from that. If you have less than five primary accounts, hit the link in my bio, scroll down, and it says starter accounts, right? Let's go. 